A father's call for justice and accountability. A Phoenix police officer shot and killed a man who tried to take off in his police cruiser. Tonight, the father questioning whether the officer made the right call. Zach Crenshaw shares his story, taking a closer look at what police policy says. You know, it's a, a death of a child is the worst thing that can happen to any parent. Mike Vispoli now has to talk about his son, Adam, in the past tense. He's a good man, was a good man. Adam struggled with addiction, though, which is why the morning of March 12th, he was sleeping on a city bus. Phoenix police was called, and multiple sources tell me Officer Don L. Lindo showed up. Seconds after being ordered off the bus, Adam got into Lindo's patrol car. I was shocked that uh, the police officer left the vehicle unattended, unlocked. That you know, I've been going through the police uh, policies is violation number one. The first thing they say is to lock an unattended vehicle. The second potential violation has to do with the shooting and why Lindo pulled the trigger. Bus camera shows Lindo noticing Vespoli close his car door. In less than five seconds, he runs out gun drawn, puts his foot on the running board, and as the car is put in drive, he fires three shots through the window. He executed my son because he was upset, mad, angry that someone got into his patrol car. Phoenix police policy states an officer's weapon should never be fired to disable a moving vehicle and officers must fear for their life to shoot someone inside a car. According to the report, though, Lindo, quote, felt he was in imminent danger of being run over and killed and was worried Vespoli could cause havoc on many citizens with his overhead lights and lethal objects. Do you think he was in imminent danger of being run over? Uh, he, not at all. He was at, on the side of the vehicle. He's the one that jumped up on the running board. Now Mike is left looking at old photos. I wake up in the morning, he's in my mind. And he's waiting to see what happens to Officer Lindo. Uh, we want justice for Adam. This shouldn't happen to any parent. Now I reached out to the Phoenix Police Department to find out about the current status of Officer Lindo, if he's back on the streets or on desk duty, haven't heard back. Also waiting to hear back from the county attorney's office to see if they're going to prioritize the review of this case. But right now, the office is backlogged more than a year when it comes to making decisions about officer-involved shootings. In the newsroom, Zach Crenshaw, IBC 15, Arizona.